The ambiguous case of the sign rule, and um, we'll make a little e activity and save three ways of tackling this in um, geometry, in a numsolve strip, or in main. So here we go, we'll start an activity and file new. Uh, we're in decimal real in degrees, that's pretty okay. Now, the first strip we'll put in is uh, we're looking for geometry. So the window opens, I'm going to tap resize and draw myself a triangle and um, these kind of procedures are covered in other videos uh, in more detail so I'll be fairly brisk here we're going to move on to the measurement toolbar angle C is 55 degrees so I'll set 55 and uh, lock that one in tapping off AB is 6 centimeters so we'll change that side to 6 centimeters and the base of the triangle is 7 centimeters now um, and so we get a solution. We're trying to find the size of, say, angle B here. And at the moment, it's 72.87. Um, I can tap onto this to save a copy of it down here. Now, the other thing is, this is a variable length, this side. And um, often we can take B, the point, and we think there's a possible other case where there's an obtuse angle where B is a bit closer to C. So simply take B and drag and let go where you think it might be. And sure enough, um, we get an alternative for angle B. If I measure it now, it's 107.12 rather than the 72 that it was before. So I'll tap resize. And um, that's one way of looking at it uh, in an e-active uh, uh, numsolf uh, a copy of what are we doing there geometry right now let's put in an unsolved strip and try it that way so I'll close that strip down and insert strip to a numsolve strip and in here we'll pop the sign rule so we'll grab the keyboard we'll get the fraction is equal to the uh, fraction template upstairs using the variable menu we want an A and a B and downstairs from the math menu, we want a sign of A and a sign of B. So I'll just um, use capital A downstairs there, close the bracket. And over here, we want a capital B and close the brackets, tap execute. Um, Foreman is ready to go. Now, in this case, we know that A is six. Uh, the angle opposite it is uh, 55 degrees. Uh, uh, little b is the seven and all we know is b now um, if we're after an acute angle the best thing to do is take advantage of the way numsolve works and actually enter the value of um, maybe 50 degrees here we know it's an acute angle so just pick a number somewhere between zero and 90 and tap solve and classpad returns us the acute angle 72.87 there now, if we'd been after an obtuse angle, and it was, uh, again, we need to check mathematically whether it's possible. If we'd started off with something like 130 uh, against B and we tap solve, then uh, we end up with 107, the, um, which is uh, uh, the other solution that we saw when we drew it to scale. You can also um, change the lower and upper bands here. We could um, have asked ClassPad to find us an acute solution, zero to 90. So even though B at the moment is on 107, which is an obtuse angle, when we tap solve now, it's brought it back into the possible range of solution of 72.87. And remember to reset these bands up here under the hidden gem, there's initialize boundary, which resets it back to uh, all possibilities so let's shut that strip so there's a second way using a numsolve strip and adjusting the initial values the last way is when we're in main so let's insert a copy of main into our e activity here and we just go for the formula with the numbers already in it this time so we'll grab the keyboard back to math one and upstairs we've got six over sine 55 using the sign rule here over sine of 55 close the brackets tap out to the side is equal to uh, 7 and downstairs here is our unknown sine of x where is my x gone there it is and we'll tap execute just to check so here's the equation that we want to solve um, now we're after an acute angle again so let's select it and use the interactive advanced or equation inequality they're both the same the solve that comes up 
tap onto the solve numerically option and for an acute angle we'd say we want from 0 to 90 if we were after a, the obtuse we'd obviously change the lower to 90 and the upper to 180 let's do that so let's get the obtuse uh, solution out here 180 for this uh, problem and when we tap OK Classpad warns us there may be more but it's come back with the 107 degrees so three ways there of tackling the ambiguous case of the sign rule and um, using some features of Classpad